arrested development. George Sr. had used his considerable means to stage intricate scenarios to teach his children what he considered valuable life lessons. I need help. I'll get my gear. Typically, these scenarios would involve a man named J. Walter Weatherman, a one-time employee who lost his arm in a Bluth Company construction accident. Why are you here? I remember. We're out of milk. I could have got it earlier if someone would have left a note. That man would still have his arm. Why? Oh my God. And that's why you always leave a note. Why did you get a yell, Buster? Only before you hit the gas. I can't hear you. The kids are yelling. Tell me before you hit the gas. I guess you're saying hit the gas. You don't yell. <laughs> and George Sr. waited for the fake kidnapping he knew Michael had orchestrated. Uh, hey, well, let's do it. Get in for the box, old man. Oh, blanket. That, who thought of that? That is very nice. Come on, get in the trunk. What about, what about my ankle monitor? We have an ankle monitor deactivated. Oh, good. See, I've been meaning to get one of those. I'm not going to resist you guys because... You know, I don't want you to beat me. But the mistreated painters were actually looking forward to that part. Oh, forgot my iPod. <laughs> and so Michael, believing himself to be aided by Joe, set to work. But this too produced less than compelling footage. And this is how that is. Put on the sound effects. Put on the sound effects. CD, CD1. CD1. Track 2. Track 2. Put the hostage here by the Ottoman. Get out of here. What are you doing in here? Ottoman out. And George Sr. was released from his long journey into the living room. Where am I? Colombia. Where do you think? And you just missed the last train that will come through the jungle for three days. Good. He's a groundling. You have betrayed us. And we'll make you pay. And then we'll go back with your sons. Oh, my sons, no. They too will suffer for your terrible decisions. And you should really pay your workers what they deserve. Not make them have to buy their own supplies. Not just the painting, the sanding too. Yeah, and the taping is, is very time consuming. And Michael decided his father was ready to learn his lesson. And that is why... He's got a gun! Get what are you doing? Get away! Get away, I'll shoot, I will, I will. I'll take you all out, I will. This is all fake. This isn't these kinds of painters. Just shut up, this this guy's arm. And that's why you don't teach your father a lesson. Who's the stupid one now? Thank you, Joe. Joe, you told him I thought we were a team. It's not fun feeling stupid, is it? You son of a... Wait a minute, I gotta get my camera. What is all this? What's going on? Keep it in frame. You want to cheat out? I will kill you. I'm going to kill you. You're going out of frame. Kill you. Oh, oh. oh my God. Michael. Dad, it was an accident. I'm sorry. And that's why you don't pit Job and me against each other. Yes. Oh. Yeah. You set me up. That's right. No more boy fights. See, hey, Walter Weatherman was in on it, too? Right from the very start. So you did use him. Look at this place. Look at my home. Freeze! Drop, Drop the gun. No, 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 it's okay. We're just trying to teach this guy a lesson. Drop the gun! Ah! Oh, my oh, my God! What's this good hand just came <laughs> flying off? And that's why you don't use a one-armed person to scare someone.